Christine here with AccessoryGeeks.com and I have in front of me a screen protector for the Nook color. Now if you're using your Nook then you know that you're constantly touching the screen to flip pages and a great way to avoid scratches on your Nook color is to apply a screen protector. Now I'll be going over how to apply a screen protector to your Nook so let's get started. First I'm going to go ahead and remove the screen protector from its packaging. This is an ultra clear screen protector, meaning that it won't compromise the colors or the brightness on your screen. Your screen protector will come with two things. It'll come with the screen protector itself, along with a cloth for you to clean off all the smudges from your nook. So let's go ahead and bring out the nook. Here I have the nook, and as you can see, there are a couple smudges, so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that by wiping it down. You're gonna wanna get rid of all the smudges and all the fingerprints and all the dust particles from your nook. That way, your nook will be nice and pristine. And you don't want to trap any of those smudges that are already on it onto your nook, because then they're going to be there for, well, ever. <laughs> or at least as long as you have your screen protector on. So give that a good wipe down. You also don't want any dust particles, because dust particles will create bubbles. Once your nook screen is uh, smudge free, you're going to go ahead and take your screen protector and as you can see here it fits, it's already pre-cut to fit your screen. So you're going to pull this first tab back, just expose the corner of it. And the nice part about the nook is it's got a lipped edge so you can just line that up as so and then begin to peel this back. And that lipped edge makes it really easy to align your screen protector. Just go ahead and push that down. As you can see, we have a couple of bubbles. We're going to go ahead and push those out. Then you can use a credit card or you can use your finger. Heat actually uh, helps to remove bubbles faster. So I like to start using my thumb and then use that to push all the bubbles out towards the edge. Now once you've got a majority of the bubbles out, you can go ahead and peel this back. So now that you've peeled back the second tab, you can go ahead and start getting rid of some of those smaller bubbles. And once you do, your screen protector will be good to go. So thanks for tuning in. This was Max with AccessoryGeeks.com and don't forget that you got it from a geek.